importance of Cantico, called Good Lives Don't Have to Cost the Earth. And we invited a lot of people um, who we knew from the American new economy scene. And while people were there, they said, why isn't there something like the New Economics Foundation here in the US? They said, we've got wonderful organizations, lots of people doing great stuff on the ground, lots of people doing interesting policy work in Washington, some really good campaign groups, but nobody really putting the whole story together, aggregating it, telling that fresh story we've been talking about in the plenary, giving that sense of hope, and amplifying the message and putting a movement together. Nobody doing those things. And they said, why isn't there something like that? And after that conference, Andrew and I went up um, to Great Barrington to spend a few lovely days up in the Schumacher Library. And Susan Witt said to us, hang on, we as an organization are rooted here, we've been doing these amazing EF Schumacher lectures, we've been doing all this wonderful work on the ground. Why don't we work together to help transform EF Schumacher society into the New Economics Institute? That was four years ago. And it's been a, a real journey of faith. And from our side, we believed it was so important that there was an organization similar to NEF in the US because, as I said in the plenary, we are no one country is going to create a new economic system on its own. It's going to, going to be by us working globally to make that change. It's really going to happen. And what happened, and here the credit goes to Susan and the people who work with her, um, people like Rina, uh, over the years, as volunteers who took, had the vision to transform the F. Schumacher Society into New Economics Institute and make that leap of faith. I worked with them. A whole lot of new trustees came on board to supplement some of the existing trustees. And an organization basically with no additional funding, but with now a brilliant group of trustees, was forming the basis of the New Economics Institute and then struggling in the face so face of not great timing, you know, going to foundations and saying we want to create a new organization or amplify, you know, change an existing organization at the time when all their investments have gone down the tube, it looked at us a bit, you know, what? That was the reaction we were getting at that stage. But so many people involved, so many volunteers, the trustees, the staff, ourselves, all had faith that this was a really important venture. And here we see this organization putting on this amazing conference, having its first president and CEO here at Bob, and it feels like an amazing time. You know, I spoke about that huge opportunity, huge responsibility. Huge amount does rest on New Economics Institute, working with lots of partners. It's a massive burden, but I am absolutely confident with the people involved, the partners they've got, that you can do it, Bob, and we'll be with you every inch of the way. Thank you. So one of the uh, things one discovers when you're traveling around Europe is that there is a continuous exposure to the beauty of old ideas that have been around for a long time and the reinvention of those ideas into new forms and into new moments. That's something that parts of America are familiar with, but other parts less so. And one of the things that I feel so proud of in uh, beginning my work here is that we have a rich tradition, as Stuart mentioned, with the EF Schumacher Society and with the extraordinary work that um, the New Economics Foundation has been doing for quite a long time. Extraordinary leadership, intellectual leadership, political leadership, cultural leadership. And those are all things that I think stand as a testimony to the hard work and the vision of people over many decades. And yet, as we all have been saying, as Stuart said so wonderfully earlier today, the challenge now is to take all of that and move forward, to figure out how it applies in new settings, in new moments, 
uh, faced with new challenges. And I think that's exactly what's happening. I had the great privilege last week of spending several days uh, at the New Economics Foundation. I still haven't quite gotten over it. Um, I met with many people who are here. I received extraordinary hospitality, a great deal of food, um, a, large, a large stack of things to read, not all of which I've completed. Um, I took 22 or 23 uh, single space pages of typed notes, which I haven't completely finished absorbing, uh, but I met some wonderful folks and learned so much about what's going on there. And part of the challenge in the months ahead is to figure out which pieces of what is happening in the UK can find an appropriate parallel in things that we will take on and that I, hopefully we will find support for here. And so I want to commend everyone from NEF who's here for the hard work that's already been done and the amazing leadership you're providing right now. I want to say I have a tremendous sense of excitement. Uh, as difficult as the struggles that we face are, I think we all have a sense that new things are happening new opportunities are being created. Um, I'm very proud that Stuart is actually on the board of the New Economics Institute, which creates an opportunity for us to uh, exchange ideas and uh, uh, for me to uh, hear directly and continuously from Stuart about uh, his thoughts about what should happen in the U.S. And I just want to thank everybody here today. Uh, this, uh, this conference is a bit of an experiment. It was designed to bring people together who may not be used to working together or may not be fully familiar with each other's work. It was designed to showcase some of the work that NEF is doing to audiences in the United States that might not be familiar with it. And it was designed to create what I hope is the energy to really move forward as a movement from here on in the United States. And that's what I'm going to be saying more in my remarks tomorrow, uh, but just to give you a little preview, um, there are so many groups who have already done excellent work in drawing people together. Uh, Sarah Stranahan over here from the New Economy Network is just one of many people who have already been doing excellent work. And now we have an opportunity to take another step together uh, in the United States, across the Atlantic, and around the world. So it's a great, great pleasure for me to be working with you. And uh, I am, uh, despite the difficulties we face, I'm actually filled with hope. And I want to thank the NEF community again for your hospitality last week, which was uh, extraordinary. David, thank you for sitting with me for yeah, and serving me such a delicious meal over four and a half hours in a <laughs> restaurant in London uh, and with Andrew. Uh, that, was a, that was a great experience. <laughs> we pretty much told, uh, well, I don't say we told each other all our funniest stories, but many of our, <laughs> many of our funniest stories. So thank you. And now let's go get a little dinner before we, uh, before we go here, Bill McKevin. Thank you. <laughs>